Well, last night, the Moravian College women's basketball team hosted Elizabethtown College in a non-conference matchup played at Johnston Hall. The Greyhounds entered the game with a record of just two and four, but were coming off an overtime victory against Cal Lutheran on Sunday and looking to make it two in a row. Here's Mike Brusco with the highlights. Last night's contest between Moravian and Elizabethtown Colleges was a matchup of two teams holding opposite records, the Greyhounds at 2-4 and four and the Blue Jays at 4-2. and two. But on the game's opening possession, it's Moravian taking a lead that they would never relinquish as Alexis Wright gives it to Allie Blair, then cuts baseline and gets it back for the reverse lay-in. After the Blue Jays tied things up at two, the only tie of the game, the home team goes on a 14 to nothing run behind scores from several girls, including Hillary Murray, Laura Jordan, and Katie O'Rourke. Elizabethtown finally puts an end to the run on a three from their game high scorer, Nadine Younginger, who finished with 14 points. Later in the half, Danielle Brogan can't connect on the 15 footer, but Blair is there for the offensive rebound and putback part of a career night for her. Then just before the break, it's Murray knocking down her second from behind the arc as she led the way with eight first half points and Moravian held a 38 to 25 advantage after 20 minutes of action. As I mentioned though, this night belonged to senior center Allie Blair who had what the kids like to refer to as a block party in the second half. The Bethlehem Catholic alum had eight blocks after halftime alone, plus four in the first half to finish with an impressive stat line that read 14 points, 10 rebounds, and a career-high 12 blocks for the first recorded triple-double in Moravian women's history. On the strength of Blair's performance, as well as 10 points each from Murray and Amanda Kruder, the Greyhounds win it 67-57 to for their first two-game win streak of the season. I think we started out strong, which is something we've had a hard time with, with the couple games that we lost in the past, so I think we're doing a better job with that now. And we played as a team, so I think it was pretty balanced. We came out strong, and that, that's what we, our goal was, to come out hard, and, and uh, we jumped all over them, so I, I was real happy about that. And, uh, you know, then we just kind of plugged away and held them off, and... and you know, they're scrappy, they come at you, they could shoot the three, and uh, they never gave up. So I was, I was glad that we uh, came up with the, the W. The home team never trailed in this one, handing Elizabethtown its first road loss of the season in the 68th meeting between the two schools. Entering last night's matchup, it was the Blue Jays holding a 43-22-2 and two advantage, but as of late, it's been all Moravian, as that win now makes it 15 out of the last 17 for them. On the scene from Johnston Hall in Bethlehem, Mike Brusco, Two Sports. 12 block shots, I think I would have tried to shoot it from a little further away from the basket. I agree on that. <laughs> Those are some impressive numbers for Allie Blair. When we come back, we head to the pool previews.